to that recommendation from the White House that impacts every public school in the country. The Obama administration recommending schools allow transgender students to use whichever bathroom they choose. This is in response to extensive requests for guidance and for information in it and uh, advice that have been put forward by school administrators and teachers and uh, in some cases even parents. Now the schools could face a loss in federal funding if they don't comply with this. Some states in fact are already firing back. Now this could have a real impact on schools right here in the tri-state of course. Nine on your side's TJ Parker is live in Mason with local reaction to this issue. TJ? Carol and Craig, there's a lot of differing views on this issue, some for, others against. Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin also coming out speaking against this, saying the federal government has no place in making a decision on this. Well, we spoke to staff here at Mason City Schools today who say this is all about making their students feel accepted. We care deeply about doing the right thing. Mason City School Public Information Officer Tracy Carson responding tonight to the president's recent recommendation asking public schools to allow transgender students to use whichever bathroom they want. Mason City Schools didn't need the federal government to tell us how to treat our students. Some people, though, aren't on the same page. Several of them commenting on our Facebook post about the story saying they think the federal government should stay out of it. Others believe allowing transgender students to use the bathroom of their choice will make other students uneasy. Others, though, believe this is a step in the right direction. Well, personally, I'm in favor of it. Thank God. It's, it shouldn't even have to be said. So I think it's actually a really positive day for schools. Sean Jeffers volunteers with Glesson, the Gay, Lesbian, Straight Education Network. He goes into area schools to teach them how to handle LGBTQ situations. He's in favor of the president's recommendation. I think today is actually really helpful for schools, for teachers, for students, for administrations, just as now have a guideline about how to proceed. He believes the directive not only it gives the school more clarity, but parents as well. We should really celebrate all students as allowing them to be their full self. Tracy says for Mason City Schools, they'll continue to do what's best for their students. At the end of the day, our job is to make sure that our kids feel safe, included, and so that they can learn. And that means doing whatever we can to make sure that each child feels that way. Now, we reached out to several tri-state schools today for comment and to get their reaction on this, but have not heard back from them. Again, this is not a law. It's just a recommendation. We're live in Mason. I'm TJ Parker, 9 on your side.